It has been more than a year since the three-headed hydra of Commanders Chester Williams, Edward Broster, and Desiree Phillips assumed joint control of Eastern Division with Williams placed in the cauldron of Southside Belize City. The problems are myriad, and while the indefatigable street cop turned legal legal has been hard at work, gang and crime culture has been institutionalized in successive generations. At a launch this afternoon, Williams says the key to breaking the cycle lies with the generation that filled the Cahalpech room of the Radisson today. While we do interventions and mediations with the older groups who are already caught up in the gang violence, we decided that we want to do a police youth mentorship club that we can bring in the children of those who are involved in gang violence so that we can hopefully work with them to curb the trend. Hopefully the cycle will be broken by what we're trying to do here today. So while today was about the Christmas celebration, including entertainment from the likes of Ozzy the Clown, director of the Youth Apprenticeship Program, and youth mentor Diane Finnegan said the hard work starts in January. Each day, this initiative will help to drive school success by connecting these young people to caring adults who can serve as mentors. I hope that as mentors, you understand that your role and responsibility in these young people's lives is critical because you have signed up to be their motivators, problem solvers, and advocates. Your purpose is to form supportive relationships, identify and celebrate these youth's strengths. Allow me to say that as you journey with these youths, you will discover how eager they are to listen, eager to learn, and willing to try new things. The initiative has support from the boss, Commissioner Alan Wiley. It's a uncharted era in terms of the Belize Police Department, but there is a need for us to try to break the cycle of violence amongst young people. And obviously, um, this initiative is aimed at capturing a younger population who may be on the fringes. And so uh, it's an initiative that I definitely support because it can make a huge change in terms of going forward within Belize. Rotary President Baron Nolan and the Radisson's General Manager Jim Scott represented the business community. If you look around the room at each other, if you've ever wondered, does anybody care about us? Do they really care? Well, look around the room and know that, yes, we do care about you. We care about each and every one of you, and that's including the men and women in this room who are in uniform, who perform their duties and responsibilities to the community to make us safe, to try to protect us, and their jobs are dangerous and they risk their lives doing it. So yes, they care, and we care. You can measure an individual's intellect by the diversity of friends and the diversity of activities they engage in. So while you guys are out having fun with your mentors and you're doing all of these different activities over the next 26 weeks and Saturdays, starting next year, you guys look across the table and you look at the table next to you and the table next to you, you might not know it yet, but you might be looking at your best friend. You might be looking at your best friend. So look around the room right now and you give that best friend an opportunity. 2017, it is hoped, will truly be a new beginning. Aaron Humes reporting for News 5.